Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about Daredevil and Spider-Man 4, John Bubniak possibly playing Spider-Man in the MCU, and Hawkeye starting filming. If you're new to the channel or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think that you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. According to Mikey Sutton over at GeekocityMag.com, Daredevil will most likely not appear in Spider-Man 3 as many have been speculating. But that doesn't mean that the Man Without Fear won't meet the Web Slinger in the near future. According to inside sources, there have been discussions of Spider-Man teaming up with Daredevil on the big screen. And the reason for their collaboration is because Spider-Man has a problem. A big problem. As Peter Parker attends college, which will provide an idea of how long before this will transpire, his Spider-Man crime fighting days are met with huge punches in the face, from the Kingpin. Spider-Man and Daredevil then discover they have a mutual foe in Wilson Fisk, the ultimate crime lord. I reported numerous times before that Marvel Studios wants Charlie Cox to reprise his Netflix role as Daredevil, but whether Vincent D'Onofrio will be included remains to be seen, and no negotiations have been started yet. D'Onofrio was brilliant as the Kingpin, both a tragic and an ominous figure, capturing the soul of writer and artist Frank Miller's iconic portrayal in Marvel Comics. However, the Kingpin wasn't originally a Daredevil villain. He actually debuted in The Amazing Spider-Man number 50 in 1967. This movie will unite them all in Sound and Fury, and this has been rumored for months now that Marvel and Sony want to continue Tom Holland's story as Spider-Man in the MCU for years to come, making a trilogy of trilogies for a total of nine movies. Obviously, the first trilogy will end after Spider-Man 3 and his time in high school. Then the second trilogy will focus on his time in college, which could start off with Spider-Man 4 in the Spider-Verse before coming back and possibly following this story where Spider-Man and Daredevil cross over in Spider-Man 5 or vice versa, before finally moving on to his third trilogy of Peter Parker as an adult. Kevin Feige has also said that he wants to bring Charlie Cox back as Daredevil, along with Mike Coulter as Luke Cage, and this hopefully means that we'll see the rest of the Netflix cast like John Bernthal's Punisher return as well. Also, Daredevil's rights return tomorrow on November 29th, so we should start hearing some official Daredevil news soon. Next, thanks to Charles Murphy over at Murphy's Multiverse, we have some interesting news regarding Spider-Man PS4's actor. Some fans may recognize John Bubniak as the face model for the PS4 version of Marvel's Spider-Man. His face model was eventually replaced by Ben Jordan for the remastered version of the game and Spider-Man Miles Morales. However, fans of the game had gotten used to John's face after years of playing the game and took to social media to make their voices heard. And Bubniak responded with a thread of interesting replies. A few weeks ago, Bubniak replied to Twitter users Simply Palm and Liam Parker 2141, appreciating their praise and teasing that good things are coming, while at the same time hinting that it's a secret. Then just a few days ago, Bubniak posted that he was flying to the UK. We can deduce from these images that Bubniak is indeed headed to England. And in the comments of the Instagram post, he indicated that he was in London for filming, but he didn't say what exactly he was filming. Along with those comments, fans once again asked if Bubniak would return to the role of Peter Parker one day, to which he responded, maybe in the MCU. We know that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is filming in Britain, as confirmed by Elizabeth Olsen in an interview last week. Right now, Bubniak tagged his location on Instagram as Shoreditch, a residential district just about 90 minutes away from Long Cross Studios, where filming for the sequel of Doctor Strange is expected to take place. Bubniak's arrival in the UK to film something secret at the same time Doctor Strange 2 is due to start production and in the same place seems like a circumstance of pure coincidence, which makes this even more suspicious. Now while it would be really cool to see a live action version of Insomniac Spider-Man in the MCU, I find this really hard to believe. Because even with all these rumors that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield could appear in Doctor Strange 2 or Spider-Man 3, we've gotten no concrete proof for them like we have for Doctor Strange and Jamie Foxx's Electro appearing in Spider-Man 3, so hearing that a video game version of the character will appear in the movie seemingly out of nowhere is a little weird. However, if you'd have told me that he would appear in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2, I'd have an easier time believing you, but I don't see that happening in the MCU. And lastly, according to a production sign, Hawkeye will be filming in Brooklyn, New York on Wednesday, December 2nd. As you can see, Finger Gun Studios will begin filming Anchor Point, and it's been revealed that Anchor Point is Hawkeye's working title. But what's interesting is the name of the production company. Disney and Marvel usually name their production company something that has to do with the movie. Like how Solve Everything Productions is clearly a reference to the Fantastic Four. So it might be hinting at one of the show's villains. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Would you rather see Daredevil team up with Spider-Man before or after the Spider-Verse? Do you think there's any way we see John Bubniak as Spider-Man in the MCU? And do you think that Finger Gun Productions has anything to do with Hawkeye's villain? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.